All right, let's talk about the electronics for a little bit. Um, each one of these uh, motor controllers I bought from Dimension Engineering. This is a uh, Sabertooth 25 by 2. This is also a Sabertooth 5 by 2. Um, it just handles different power. Oh, uh, the bigger one here controls each of the motors and there's a a wire diagram that you could download and it tells you what it goes to but you know the battery positive and negative then you got two motors you got the M2A positive and negative and you got the the M1A positive and negative and they're reversible so um, in here you know if I didn't reverse one of the motors it would be going completely backwards so one of the motors is reversed and I just did the switch on here. This one right here controls the blade. Um, yeah, on this one here you got the battery negative on this side and battery positive on this side. This also controls two motors but I'm just using the one and I have my linear actuators both of them running parallel together out of this one control. I could have one over here and one over here and you know I could control the blade so it actually would tilt this way but um, that would require some modifications to the blade and um, I just haven't done that but it'd be pretty easy. So the linear actuators here they are this is what controls the blade um, like I said, I have it coming out of the motor control and I just wired them both together here. Um, put the positives together and negatives together. And these things, they, they'll work off of a 9 volt battery. It doesn't take much power. Actually, I got a 9 volt battery right here. So here's a 9 volt battery. And I can take these put it to both sides and it'll make it work so I turn them around and go back the other way and I go, and I go in uh, this is the 12 volt battery and same thing here, you could just um, flip it around here and put that in there. You can see it goes much faster. Take it, flip it around. And that's all there is to that. Pretty simple. Um, it's hard to tell, but you could try to make it out there. These are made by Fragili. Um, it has a 4 inch stroke, 15 pounds of pressure. So both of these together is putting 30 pounds of pressure uh, on the blade over here. So, And they are 12 volt as well. But as you can see, it'll work off the 9 volt. But for optimum uh, power, definitely got to use a 12 volt battery. So how does it work? Um, you know, I just showed you just you know how it connects to the battery, and it'll go up and down. But on the model here, that signal, or it's you know it's always being powered from the battery. But in order for it to go up and down, it, there's a signal that it receives from the uh, remote control that goes to the receiver. And it just requires this yellow one, yellow, red, and brown one here. goes into here. And once I control the stick for up and down, it relays that in here to send current to the motor to go up and down. And the same thing for the motors, um, it also has signals You're using two channels here. So if I 
turn it this way, one motor goes that goes one direction, turn it the other way, uh, one half of the motor goes the other direction. Same thing for the up and down. So if I pull it, pull the stick back to the corner here, that means both motors are going forward. And if I put it up in this direction, both motors are going reverse. If I go over to the top right, one's going one direction and the motor other motors going the other direction. Same thing down here. So um, you get all those different directions just by using this control here.